It Up starts now on WSBT 22 with Pete Byrne and Carl Devenbaugh. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a brand new season to Hoop It Up here on WSBT. I'm Pete Byrne alongside Adam Derengowski, who's filling in for Carl Devenbaugh tonight. First show of the year, Adam, and we had a great way to start it off. We got treated to a lot mm -hmm. of great games this evening. Uh, there was such good action tonight. It's exciting. Let's get into the highlights. Yeah, let's get right to it. Two games in the NIC tonight, starting with the Marion Knights, ranked number one in the state. You could not find a seat in the south side of Mishawaka tonight. Heck, couldn't find a spot in the parking lot either because they're taking on their rivals, St. Joe. And the Knights got off to a good start. Devin Kennedy buried to three, put Marion up nine too early. But St. Joe would settle down. That's Francis Uzo taking it the length of the floor for the basket and the foul as St. Joe comes back to tie the Holy War at 11. Off for turnover now. Knights pushing the tempo. Jake Whitfield finds Anthony Blum for two as the Knights retake the lead. St. Joe had some good shooting on the outside from Dominic Farrow. Hit a couple of long balls in the first half. Once again, the game is tied. But Kennedy would give the Knights a lift heading into halftime. Watch as he finds some space and knocks down the three at the horn. Kennedy, a big night, 30 points, and he leads the Knights to victory tonight. 72 to 64, Marion remains undefeated on the season. Staying in the Northern Indiana Conference tonight, Elkhart Central taking on Mishawaka over at the Cave. Close game in the third quarter. Antoine Allen drives, dishes to Cornell Connor for the basket, and that ties the game at 21 as a future blazer takes a look out from the crowd very cute there mishawaka would get hot from the outside late in the quarter luke shively drains the three from the corner to put the caveman up and then they go inside to their big man and there's no defense for this right here peyton staples hits the turnaround it's the caveman victorious tonight 59 to 48 those are the only two games in the nic tonight because penn won a close one over washington right. last night and riley beat adams those two teams both undefeated by the way so that takes care of the NIC, but we've got a full slate in the Northern Lakes. A full slate is maybe an understatement. Memorial scored a big win last week over Mishawaka mm -hmm. earlier this week. Tonight, the Chargers would host Wawa C at uh, Northside Middle School Warriors looking to snap a four-game losing streak. Wawa C shot well early. Aaron Boyrell from the elbow drains the triple. Wawa C rushes out to an 11-point lead. But Memor Memorial would come back. Cameron Maxwell, the strong drive and the dish to Jalen Rhodes, who lays it in. Memorial cuts the lead to single digits. Warriors on the run. Nice. Huge block by Memorial's Dimitri Geiger. Chargers back the other way, and Maxwell drains the dagger. Chargers win it 64 to 44. Big swing on that play there. We're going to head down to Goshen now where the Redskins hosting the Warsaw Tigers. Warsaw coming into the game 10 and 1 and looking good early on. Of course, Rashawn Johnson had a nice night. First, he hits the jump shot from the top of the key and then a little bit later in the quarter, they're going to look to Jackson again. I should say Rashawn Jackson knocks down the baseline jumper. Warsaw out to a comfortable lead. But Goshen tries to keep it tight from the outside. Jack Gingrich knocks down the three-pointer from the top of the key, but Warsaw wins a defensive effort tonight. Final score, 36 to 28, the final. Now two teams in search of their first NLC wins. They squared off tonight. Concord hosting Plymouth. Darrell Poindexter goes into the big man, Philippe Sarwatka, who lays it in. Concord was close, but Plymouth was just too darn good. Nick Felke on the fast break. The C parts, and he lays it in. Plymouth wins it 62-54. to 54. And one other result tonight in the Northern Lakes to pass along. Northwood beats Northridge tonight 63-52. to 52. Northwood out to an excellent start this season. Now some scores in the Northern State Conference. John Glenn, a big win over Bremen, 74-43. Triton remains unbeaten in the conference with a 57-34 win over Culver. Jimtown over New Prairie, 65-53. And LaVille downs Knox, 45-27. All right, that takes care of Indiana. Let's head up north of the state line where there's a great matchup tonight in Michigan. Benton Harbor visiting Lakeshore. Both these squads, 6-1 and one coming into the night. And Benton Harbor starts awfully fast. That's Rory Anderson. Knocks down the three. Game tied at five early, and that three-pointer would start a big run. Check this out. Anderson, a sweet pass to Malik Hall inside Hello. for the bucket. That part of a 12-0 run for the Tigers, but the Lancers would settle down, and they make a heck of a comeback in this game. Logan Steffes knocks one down from long range. Lakeshore rallies from an early deficit to win big tonight, 62-42 to over Benton Harbor. That's a big win. St. Joseph and Niles also squaring off tonight up in Michigan. St. Joe working the fast break, a strong take to the hole, puts the Bears up by a four spot. Niles would try to stay in it, though, as Gabe Stokes gets the pass and knocks down the elbow three. That cut the St. Joe lead down to three, but the Bears would pull away a nice mid-range jumper here from Javon Ballard. 
and that would seal it. St. Joe wins it 72 to 63. A lot of good games tonight. We've got to take a quick time out, but when we come back, the ladies take center court. There was an epic battle for first place in the NIC tonight between Penn and South Bend Washington. We'll show you how that one ends up, plus head to several other games when we return on Hoop It Up.